here we go what's this i did a, did someone really ask this question or is it just the is it just megan putting this question in what qualifications should i be looking for when choosing a surgeon mm, let me think about that mm. well you know what is it a bit boring me doing this every time every week Okay, I'll tell you what qualifications. That's what qualifications are right there. FRCS Plast. Right? FRCS Plast. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the qualifications you're looking for, you want to look for them to be on the specialist register. Yeah, Kim, you got the book. I'm ahead of you, Kim. You've got to look for someone on the specialist register, really, uh, for, for, for the surgery you're interested in having. So I'm assuming it's plastic surgery for the circumstances of this. So uh, FRCS with PLAST in brackets after it would signify they have got the specialist fellowship in plastic surgery. A lot of places will say all our surgeons are GMC registered. Well, that happens in the first year of qualifying for a doctor. So you would hope that everyone's GMC registered. Some places will say all our surgeons are FRCS are fellows or members of the Royal College of Surgeons. Um, but that's, again, quite a basic qualification. You do, um, you become a fellow or a member of, when I did it, we, we became fellows of the Royal College of Surgeons. They changed it to member of the Royal College of Surgeons. So FRCS or, or MRCS is quite a relatively basic uh, qualification. That means you can do appendicectomies and, you know, you can sort of do some basic surgery. Uh, once you've got your fellowship or your membership with the Royal College of Surgeons, you can then continue and do a period of study for your specialist fellowship. And that's an extra six years or so, give or take, of specialist uh, surgical training in a surgical specialty, which might be plastic surgery, um, orthopedic surgery, ENT surgery, maxillofacial surgery, whatever. It can be in, a special, in, a, in, in one of the surgical specialties um, and when you finish that training, then you have another exam and you have an exit, what's called an exit exam, where you get the specialist fellowship uh, and you get entered onto the specialist register for the GMC. So it's every doctor should be on the GMC register, but only people who finish specialist training will be on the specialist register. So if you go on the GMC website, gmc-uk.org, I think it is, and it says something like search credentials. If someone's got a funny name like me, Stiano, you could search by their surname and you'd probably find them. But if they're called Smith or, or, a, or a more common name, then you might uh, need their GMC number. 4117214 is my GMC number. We're all encouraged to share our GMC numbers with um, patients if, if uh, you know, so you can you know, check us out. Uh, 4117214. Um, and it'll say whether they're on the specialist register and if so, in what? So it should say specialist register for plastic surgery since whatever, 2007 or whatever. I don't know how long I've been on it. But um, so, um, yeah, that's the qualification. So uh, FRCS Plast, uh, for older surgeons, and God knows I'm getting old now. So I don't know if there are any left, but there probably there may be who were around before you had to do the FRCS Plast exam. So there might be some surgeons who haven't got FRCS Plast, but are who still are still uh, um uh, specialist plastic surgeons. Um, the other way you can do it is look for people who are members of BARPS and BAPRAS, British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, that's BARPS, and British Association of Plastic Reconstruction and, and Aesthetic Surgeons is BAPRAS, because you can only be members of those if you're a fully trained plastic surgeon. And then finally, you can look for someone who's an NHS consultant. A lot of people think NHS is sort of lesser than private practice, but actually, when you're going through training, the pinnacle of your training is becoming an NHS consultant. That's when you've finished your training and are fully trained. And uh, so look for someone who is or has been. I've left the NHS now, but I was a full, a, a permanent, full-time uh, NHS consultant plastic surgeon um, be, you know, before I left. So look for someone who is or has been an NHS consultant. So those are the things to look for a suitably qualified surgeon and look for someone who you can talk to who you don't feel intimidated by um as well well you get all those together flipping at you've struck gold